To be honest, I actually, I have gotten homophobic messages. Really? Before, but it, it's in, what's the craziest part is it's like, sometimes it's from people I know. Some viewers um, struggle to separate actors from characters, right? I was wondering, have either of you received any homophobia from viewers that have that problem? To be honest, I actually, I have gotten homophobic messages. Really? Before, but it, it's, it, what's the craziest part is it's like, sometimes it's from people I know, which is even crazier. And it's in, you know, I, I think it just kind of shows, you know, where the world's at and like, possibly like how much this show is actually needed. You know, I feel like it, it starts a conversation and I, I think that's the most important thing. And I think, you know, especially in a time like the world is right now, um, we need more conversations started. And so, yeah. yeah, that's kind of my view on it. But what was your response to those responses? To be honest, it was usually just like, like, as far as like, if when it was like people that I knew, I just would either... I would either kind of lean into it and just be like, okay, and what, like, whatever, or I would just try to like enlighten them as much as I possibly could. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But, you know, to be honest, I, I feel like there's just, there's so many undertones of like understated homophobia, uh, homophobia in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a lot of people are like, have like these little microaggressions that they don't realize are actually homophobic. And then when they do stuff, like that and send you homophobic messages and stuff like that it just it's not appropriate and i think the best way to do is either like try to educate them and or just realize that they're ignorant and you can't really say anything that's going to help them unfortunately i personally haven't haven't experienced anything like that i mean the response has been um just nothing but positive from what i've seen um like it's really nice and touching getting messages from people who who have watched the show and it's resonated with them I haven't had any any negative messages, which um, has honestly been just nice to to um, just to have the positive response, you know. Okay. And just know that people are connecting to it on that way. Since shooting the show, um, I guess it's given you a unique insight into the experiences of LGBTQ teens. Uh, what do you think is the biggest issue facing that community in the US? It kind of highlights the depiction of like what people of color in the LGBT community have to go through in the States. And, and I, I think this is kind of like worldwide, you know, especially I've, I've gotten messages from people worldwide who have somehow seen the show. And it, it's usually like, this is my exact story. This is what I'm going through in, in this place or in this place or in this place. And, and I think it's important to realize that like, this is not just like a U.S. problem. This is not just like a Southern America or a South America problem or, or a, a UK problem. It's an everywhere problem. And, and I think the more yeah. it's talked about, again, the more it'll be solved. Yeah, I think it's just like the messages I was getting from people who were just like, oh, wow, that's my, like, they're connecting and like, that's my story. Like, there's a lack of representation. There's a lack of, of their story being told and seen. So mm -hmm. I think that's probably, I think that's one of the, when it comes to at least this arena, I think that's one of the problems there, you know, people being able to actually see themselves and identify with that, you know.